Good morning. Uh, this tutorial uh, is for scaling images on the site so that they are uh, are responsive, so that they are compatible with uh, handheld devices, iPads, and, and the like. Um, so uh, let's go ahead and get started on that. Uh, I'm already at a page where uh, when when scaling the image is not responsible this the uh, fellowship and grants page now using uh, Mozilla's built-in uh, feature I'm gonna scale this down to what it would look like on a smart device uh, where we have the menu here and stuff so uh, let me go ahead and scroll down here and as you can see the image is it's distorted it's it's not responsive it's not scaling down uh, so what what I did was uh, after a little bit of research uh, if I go in or wait a minute let me if I go in and inspect this element uh, what it's supposed to do as defined in the CSS script for images it is supposed to automatically adjust the height should that page uh, change if it's, it's an adaptive page. In other words, you're adapting it from a large screen computer onto a handheld device. Well, as you can see, it's marked out. Well, why is it marked out? Well, because the height is already being defined when the image was placed in there. And I, I did this with a few images myself. and. Uh, when I did my research uh, on this, I was like, oh, we should not have to define height. Uh, so basically what you need to do to fix this and going forward in the future is that when you add an image, uh, leave the height blank. Let me show you. I'm going to edit this image. Uh, it's a block. So we'll go into the block and highlight the image you could either right mouse click and select image properties or you can just click on the image icon just make sure you have it selected and yeah the height has uh, already been defined so in theory what this is doing is that regardless of how small you're formatting the page it's still trying to maintain that height now we want to go ahead and, and keep the width width for an image on a website the the standard is between 350 to 500 so we're good with that um, but yeah when you add an image uh, and you're predefining how you want it to look on a on a regular web page go ahead and add the width on it like I said you usually safe between 350 to 500 but don't fill in the height like uncheck your uh, block ratio and just put in the width of the picture that you want I'm removing the height I'm going to click OK. Now it's, as you can see, it is holding uh, the the proper of uh, dimensions of of, of the uh, image there. So let's go ahead and save this block. It's holding it fine there too. All right. So now let's go ahead and do a responsive run on it. Okay. We are in responsive mode, and there we go. The image is properly formatted. Uh, I've double checked this on my iPhone it came out good I also used uh, Google Chrome and it looks like it came out well there uh, so that's basically it because uh, and also let's let's check the CSS on it and yeah it is automatically adjusting the height now that we've removed the uh, height on the element itself it's now defaulting to this CSS script and automatically adjusting it. Uh, so this was just a quick tutorial. Uh, I hope it helps. I'm going to go through the rest of the website and make those changes. But going forward in the future, if you're adding images to the accordion menus or even just to a regular page on the site, do not put in the height. Let the CSS script run the, uh, the automatic resizing uh, portion of that script uh, for when it's uh, when you're going into responsive mode. Uh, hope you all have a great day. Talk to you later. Bye.